Hello everyone, this is Guy from MyPoss Point of Sale Systems. In this video, I'm going to show you a, a specific feature MyPoss software has where one can create and maintain a user account, pay off sales into that user account, and the user can repay the account at a later time. So, as a start, I'm going to create a user and then assign an available credit limit and then put through a sale into that user and show you an option where you can get some reports against the sales and then how that user may repay uh, his or her account or a company account uh, when it's time. So I'm going to go into the sales area, select customers and I'm going to create a company account called MyPost Systems. So to search with, I'm going to uh, put in the company phone number and the system will let me know whether that number uh, exists in the system and if it's not, it will turn to a page where you can uh, add uh, the customer um, as a new customer. And then I'm going to set uh, $250 as available credit into this account it's something that it's, a, it's a choice that you can make you can still go ahead and create a user account without an available uh, credit limit but if you choose to pay off sales against that account you need this uh, level of assigned credit uh, it's kind of a fail safe you have uh, to not to go above uh, the, the the prescribed uh, uh, a credit amount uh, without repaying the account. So I have created an account called MyPost Systems. I haven't put uh, further details, but it's simply a mobile number, sorry, uh, a company number and the company name, available credit, and I'm going to select OK here so that you can see on top left that the company account is now selected. Now I'm uh, ready to uh, put through my sales um, into this uh, order, just a sample order, and I'm going to go pay go to go pay and then instead of cash or card I'm gonna select debt and you can see I have selected my post systems with an available credit of $250 uh, in this demo I'm not gonna print any dockets or receipts and I just pay say okay to it so what I have done is I have put through a sale uh, against that company account I'm gonna put through another sale into the same company account to search the company I just type in the phone number and as you can see as you type in the phone number the system tells you yep that's the company that you are uh, kind of referring to easy to select and say okay company is now selected i'm just going to put you it's very easy when you have a corporate uh, on in a, where you are located in a corporate building and you wanted to maintain an account for uh, some some uh, businesses where they wanted to uh, have like a credit account to repay at the end of the month go to pay select debt don't want any receipts or dockets <laughs> and you can see um, the available credit is 250 and the previous purchase was forty dollars forty six dollars and fifty cents which is kind of consumed against the available credit and then I'm going to put through this eleven dollars fifty worth of sales um, into that account so uh, easily you can find what after selecting the customer by go customer by going into the history you can see what sales that you have done against this uh, account um, and then I'm just gonna cancel that selection and then if you go to uh, customers uh, and then customer diary uh, you may see uh, like a report that you can generate based on the the, the dates that you specify um, and I can choose um, which company and then run the report and that will show me the number of transactions that I have done on this particular date and what ticket number it is as a, as a total uh, uh, one transaction per line but if you want to see uh, more than uh, products wise sales you can still go to the same area of customers sale by customers and then select the date range um, and then select uh, a choice of customer account and then run the report and that will show me 
uh, items wise uh, transaction history $58 and you saw the same $58 is uh, is on that uh, previous report as well oops I'm gonna create or select that particular customer run report $58 which is kind of you know uh, tallies which each, which each, which each other um, and then when the customer is ready to make the payment for example at the moment the total is $58 at the end of the month customer would like to repay uh, $50 against this account so what you do is go to uh, the menu and repayments and then select the customer and then go to and you can see it's 58 total against a $250 worth of credit uh, go to pay customer gives you uh, cash worth of $50 and I don't want a receipt. Um, oh, I'll just show you the receipt. Um, say okay to it. And you can see the current deb uh, debit amount is uh, credit available. Credit is uh, $250 less $8. So the cons consumption of that account is $8 only because the the, the, the account is just repaid uh, $50 from the total. And you can see that $50, this is the receipt that's going to generate from the system, telling the customer that, yes, you have just paid 50 and you've got another $8 to pay.